Uh, hello folks, so um, today I'm going to tie a wee, uh, a wee cormorant, um, so the hook and the vise is a size 16 wide gap barbless wet hook from Sprite, the thread I'm going to use is Semperfly 50 denier nano silk and white, so I'll just start on Run the thread on, any day of the hook, a few turns, come on then, turn away our excess, and run our thread on down, towards the rear of the hook, and line with where our barb would be on the hook. Now, the body on the fly is unimiler and pearl, size 14. So we'll just take off a wee run of our pair. So lay that down against the shank of the hook. We turn over just to hold that in place and run our thread up and touch and turn towards the eye of the hook. So, come on then with our pair of turns up and give a good full turn at the back. And just be careful of the hook point and start bringing that up. The shank of the hook. And touch and turns, overlapping turns, right up towards where we ran our thread. Come on, then, a few turns over just to secure that down. Come on, then, on. knock away that excess. So, the next part in our fly. That's the wing. Now, um, this is a, a marabou filler. Now, what I use for cormorants is this very top piece here. Though. Um, I come in and knock that away. And that's the part there that I use for my cormorants. Um, if, I'm uh, if I'm tying lures, I always pick these bigger fillers coming down. And I have a box sitting where I save all the tips for tying cormorants. But for the purpose of this video, I will just use the, the full filler now. All you have to do is grab your, grab your marabou. Pull your fingers up through that top, roll it onto shape, measure that down then, you just want this just coming past the end of our hook, so measure that out, hold your marabou down, punch and loop, give a full turn, Make sure our marble is sitting on top. Come on then on two or three turns over the top then to secure that marble down. So come on then with our scissors and knock away that excess. Hold on to our filler and then a few turns just to tie down those loose ends. So, the next part in the fly um, is a couple of pieces of this by it. So, I'm going to pick off my two, my two by it. So, this is our by it here. 
Maybe what I do with my own is I command them that wee sharp top. Just command them. Knock that square. I normally tie on the two, just hold the two on and tie them down, but I'll do this one at a time, um, just so that you're able to see. So um, I bring the wire on and roughly about half the length of the body, hold that down, come on then, run a couple of turns over the wire, and then same on the opposite side, come on then, knock away that sharp top, and same again, lay down your wire on the opposite side, And the same again, a couple of turns to secure that down, and then take your time, take a wee look through, and make sure you're by it sitting. Now, you want this, you don't want it running down the line of the body, you want this a wee bit up of the body, but not running the full line, just up a wee touch. Hold that all in place. Come on then. then. Give your tight turns over the bite. And if you reach for these, these will rub off. If you hold down tight on your bite and pull them away, they'll rub off. So, a wee final check before we whoop finish, just to make sure everything's sitting right. Come on then with her. Look finished hope. And give her three or four turn. Hope finish. Just to finish that head. Come on there, scissors. And trim away that excess. Now, on their day, a cormorant can be the difference between not hooking a fish and hooking a fish. Um, now, you can tie the cormorant in a range of different colours. Um, you can change the marabou for black, change it for olive, change it for orange, change the body, change the bias, change the colour of the head. Um, there's a range of different different cormorants that you can tie from from that one pattern um, and as I say it can be the difference on days between throwing everything at them and throwing a cormorant on them and them just coming up and, and reaching for it as soon as it hits the water now the last piece then is this is just clear head cement so just come in and we touch a varnish down that head just to seal that on. And that's it folks. That's your your cormorant. Um, very, very easy tidy, fly to tie. I'll just come on down a wee bit of wire just to make sure that my eyes clean. And there you go. It's a very, very easy to tie fly. You can change that, funk that up to whatever colour you want. You can change the colour of the marabou, the colour of the bias, change the body. Um, you can use holographic tonsil on the body, you can use flat tons, a flat floss, you can use whatever you choose. Um, and as I say, an excellent wee fly to have in your box, especially on a range of, of different colours, um, and can be deadly when fish are feeding on pan fry. So, there you go folks. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Um, to
next time. Tide lines.